Tony the Soy Sass Assassin, welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Today we're doing another uh, EP Carrillo, and I think they're calling this Essence series. I'm not too sure, but they're calling them what it is just EP Carrillo, Maduro, EP Carrillo, Sumatra. So this is the Maduro one today, because we just we did the. Uh, uh, um, Sumatra one already. So here you go. You're gonna see some white dust on it. That's actually because I landed on an ashtray. So. Anyways, uh this is very oily. I feel like my hands full of oil touching it. It's very, very, very oily. I, I think they they probably wipe some oil on this thing. Yeah, it's very, very oily. I feel like they they probably dip with some oil on this thing. I don't know. But look at this cigar. Okay, let's go. EP Carrillo Maduro. Size is Toro, 6x52. And it comes with Mexican singing address wrapper, binder from the Honduras, and filler from Nicaragua. I'm surprised it uses a Honduras binder. That is actually quite interesting. It's not like, uh, you know, a broadly binder or something like that. Price is $10 a stick. And if you watched my review for the Sumatra, that one is actually pretty good. I am really looking forward to smoking this one. Let's get started. Okay, now that we are back, let's get started. Let's get started. First, footband. Now, the footband has this QR code to tell you more information about the cigar. I haven't been able to get it to work. All right, I tried it with the Sumatra, didn't work. So I tried this one, did not work. So I don't know. They didn't test it. Too shiny. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All right. So the foot has that stink from the San Andreas stuff. That's normal. But the surface, you can't smell anything. It's like I say, it's almost as if they wipe some mineral oil over it. So you can't smell anything. But let's get started. Cutter. Okay. The draw is really good. It's almost like they lose pack this thing because you can kind of feel like you have room to press it down. You can see when I blow this side, air comes out there. So that means it's actually very loose. Air will go through it. Mm. All right, some pepper some nuttiness spice leafy damp some dark coffee note 
A little bit of bitterness. A little bit of wet leaf taste. And that's pretty much it for now. So let's get right into it. 10 bucks. Shouldn't be hard. Let's get to one third. Be right back. Okay, we're at first third. It burns funny and, and um it starts to draw funny for some reason. I don't I don't know what that is. But it's got a incomplete flavor. It's got incomplete coffee, incomplete cocoa, incomplete nuttiness, incomplete pepper. What, what I mean by that? It gets you the nuances about to get to that flavor, but it never got there. It just fades out. I don't know what's going on with the cigar. I don't know. And, and it starts to feel wet, but this is not wet. It's oily. It's greasy. Maybe it's just a cigar. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, the Sumatra did pretty well. I don't know why this is giving me issues. But, you know, we'll see if it, it improves. It's just first third. It's not... You don't expect something I actually kind of do, but we'll get to the second. Third. Be right back. All right, second, third. I get a little bit of cocoa, but it's like an earthy cocoa. Not very, very earthy, but a little bit earthy cocoa. And that cocoa has a very small amount of sweetness. And I also get a little bit of maybe a little bit floral and maybe a little bit of like the aroma of coffee, but not coffee and a little bit of nuttiness, but aroma, not flavor. And this cigar is roughly like a mild medium kind of thing with a mild medium body. Like I, I think it did not live up to the same level as that Sumatra that I smoked the other day. Still not bad. I feel like this could be a day cigar. Like morning cigar is so light that if you want to smoke this afternoon, it might not be enough. It's not crazy. It's not bold like Maduro should be. It's like a weak um a weak Maduro, a weak San Andreas, very weak San Andreas. So, but here's the band, very similar to the Sumatra with the Maduro part being different color. And that's pretty much it. So it fits the theme of that series, uh, but nothing quite up. This is absolutely nothing crazy about it. So I'm on the last third and um, we'll smoke it. See if it gets better. If not, unfortunately, this cigar might not hit the 10 bucks even so last there please get better you're right back okay we're done um last there still light so this is basically a light version of a maduro it's not crazy it's not very flavorful actually take me to pull this out this was actually in there but folded like that so it was holding up my drawer so it's that's probably one of the reasons why the flavor wasn't coming through the way it's supposed to be the construction and first impressions what we're doing right and, and obviously um even after i put it out it didn't improve that much coco improved a little bit the rest is still eh. so with that being said i give the cigar seven fifty seven fifty um it's a light cigar i think the beginner will like it and before they go into the more expensive stuff but it's not too far from 10 bucks i can understand that you know you, you really they try to set the price of that series the same but if i were to compare to the sumatra the sumatra is worth the money this one wasn't as much right so it would obviously wouldn't be the same as the sumatra i feel like this one is failed to deliver the amount of flavor i want uh for a maduro like when you're smoking maduro you're expecting all that burst of nice creamy dark flavored chocolate cocoa coffee 
uh, and stuff like that. But it's, it just doesn't do it. It just doesn't do it for me. Uh, so Sumatra is the one you should be trying, not the Maduro. Well, maybe the Honduras and other one will do better. But, you know, that's just my first opinion on this one. Uh, obviously, mine has a little issue. Maybe yours wouldn't. So, you know, give it a try and see if that doesn't happen to you. And again, the level of your smoking will change the level of flavor you're getting. All right. The more you smoke, the lighter other flavor might get as they become more beginner, normal entry cigars. And, 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 and that's probably what's, what's doing for me. It's not very heavy. It doesn't, it doesn't get to the level of flavor I want. Uh, but the, it's not saying that this is a bad cigar. It's just saying that this cigar did not deliver the flavor I expect or deliver the level of flavor that I expect. So with that being said, I will say still try it. And if you can get at a discount, get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's probably better if you can get it at a discount. It's probably better if you can smoke it nicely. All right. So that will be it for this cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, and check out our podcast check out our swag um, if you don't see the swag under the link you can scroll down and you can check out our Kettle Smoke Legion swag thing it has different t-shirts not just the one you see now because we sell the fifth year so we have the fifth year stuff on there and yeah and check out our membership for early access alright so I'll see you guys next time bye guys bye guys